In this video, we'll learn how to create an explicit intent and use it to start an activity. An intent is a request you send to Android to start a new activity. You create the intent, load it with the information about the activity you want started, and then you send the intent to Android. Then Android starts the activity for you. The intent class is fairly complex. It has many overloaded constructors and properties. We'll look at the core uses of intent here and then see a few of its advanced capabilities later in the course. An explicit intent is an intent that exactly identifies the activity you want to start. Most of the time you know exactly which activity you want to start. For example, suppose you're implementing the full contacts list page on a contacts app. When the user touches a contact, you want to navigate the app to the contact details activity. There's no doubt or ambiguity about the target activity. You use explicit intents in this case and load the type object of the target activity to uniquely identify it. Note there must be a context associated with the APK containing the target activity. Explicit intents are generally used to start an activity defined inside your own app's APK. Technically, they can also be used to start an activity from a different APK, as long as you know the package name and class name. This is generally rare. Most of the time, it's reasonable to think of an explicit intent as how you launch an activity defined in your own app's package. Context and activity are both large, complex types. These classes provide several methods to launch an activity for different situations. However, the start activity ones shown here are the most common, so we'll focus on these. One start activity method takes an intent instance you create. Another takes a type. This version is just a convenience method to save you having to create the intent yourself. Let's say we want to launch an activity from a click handler. To start an activity using an explicit intent, you first need to create the intent and load it with the current context and the desired target activity type. Then you pass the intent to start activity. We see this approach of launching new activities in response to the user request throughout apps we use each day. For example, if the user touches the add contact button in the all contacts activity, it responds by having Android launch the new contact activity. 